Vulcan ASIS is being designed to support a wide range of users. Traditional communication, military type users, but also all of the emerging needs of space that are going to benefit humanity back here on Earth. With uh, ASIS development, we are, are truly building a platform that we can extend to do almost anything we can dream up. Existing high energy upper stages are limited to hours of on orbit capability. ASIS will give us the opportunity to go beyond what we can do today. Things like multi day orbits, expandable up to even a month on orbit. Very easily with modifications, we can go from low Earth orbits to high Earth orbits to geos and to even beyond with only a few modifications. Some of those enabling technologies include IVF or integrated vehicle fluids. IVF allows us to generate electricity which powers our avionics which allows us to get rid of batteries. It is a reaction control system which allows us to get rid of hydrazine and helium which really expand our duration on orbit because we're only consuming our two main fuels. And then we have the ability to add MLI or multi-layer insulation that really reduces the boil off of our propellants. It's thin layers of reflective material that are incredible insulators in the vacuum of space. So being able to store cryogens for days and weeks We'll be able to do that with ACES. Because we can refuel ACES, it opens up a large window of opportunity for us to do things that we currently can't do today. Things like being able to go to the moon, sit there for a while, and then being able to bring large amounts of material back, which will enable lunar manufacturing, cislunar manufacturing, and even mining on the moon. And while currently ULA does have the ability to restart our upper stages, ACES takes that to a whole new level. We'll be able to restart multiple multiple times, um, 10 or more times, which will allow us to use it much like a space tug. We won't have to rebuild stages to bring things back. We can reuse the same stage over and over again, saving us a lot of time, energy, and money. There are many customers that have performance needs in excess of what even Vulcan Aces can provide. The way that we are moving forward to support that is by combining the performance of a couple launches. What distributed lift really provides is the ability to take substantially more payload. For example, to GSO, it's about two and a half times the payload capability of a single launch. The first launch would just take propellant to orbit, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. The second launch would take ACES and, for example, a Bigelow Habitat rendezvous with that propellant we would transfer the propellant into ACES and then go and perform the mission with as many burns and the duration that's needed to go support that mission. So the way we determined what kind of capabilities we should build into ACES, we looked at industry and said, where does industry really want to go in the next 10, 20, or even 30 years? And we are trying to respond to a perceived market demand in the future. And it is kind of a challenge to look forward that far and try Try to say, well, what will we need when that time comes around and try to build a system that we can implement it easily today. Zeus is a mission kit that we add to the basic ACES vehicle to enable us to deliver payloads directly to the lunar surface. What we do is we add electric pumps that are powered by the integrated vehicle fluids and that feeds liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen into auxiliary thrusters that allow us to soft land these payloads on the lunar surface. Looking a little bit further out, being able to extract the water and minerals from the lunar surface, utilizing Zeus to get those materials up to orbit, can transform the benefits that space offer back to humanity. So ACES is an amazing technology and I'm really proud to be working on this program and excited that ULA is pursuing this technology and I can't wait until we launch ACES in the early 2020s.